he really put a major focus on the little things. So just to give some examples, is he used to get laughed at a lot because at the first practice, the first thing he would do with all his players is he would teach them how to put on their socks correctly so they wouldn't get blisters. And in turn, if you get a blister, you can throw the ball away or you might be taken out of the game or you not, might not even be able to play a game. So he spent a lot of time the first practice and it was kind of a joke with his players and people but he wanted to express how important to him were the little things, like putting on your socks. Hey guys, Coach Corsi here, coming to you from Allegria Beach. Man, I hope you can see this background and what a beautiful place where, I mean, there's some kids down there, a few people here, but pretty much have the whole beach to ourselves, and it's just a, a beautiful place. Yeah, I wanna go over John Wooden vlog number 14, and this is all about focusing on the little things. So John Wood, in perfecting his style until he won a national championship in 1964, he really put a major focus on the little things. So just to give some examples, is he used to get laughed at a lot because at the first practice, the first thing he would do with all his players is he would teach them how to put on their socks correctly so they wouldn't get blisters and in turn, if you get a blister, you can throw the ball away, or you might be taken out of the game, or you not, might not even be able to play a game. So he spent a lot of time, the first practice, and it was kind of a joke with his players and people, but he wanted to express how important to him were the little things, like putting on your socks. Another little thing that he really looked at was how you dress, like how you look. You've got to, to play good, you got to look good, he said. So he really focused on you know, you really gotta look good. You gotta have a nice haircut. You gotta come to the games in a suit. You gotta have the right uniform. You gotta have the right shoes. You all gotta look the same. So he was really into the little things. He also believed that even when you took a shower, don't throw your towels on the ground. Don't leave them there. Don't throw your garbage on the ground. Pick up after yourself. Put your garbage away. Put your towels away. And, and they had student leadership on every team and he would tell his players the student leaders are not here to pick up your trash to pick up your towels you pick it up you treat them with respect you treat them with love and respect so he was really into the little things even the way their dorms looked the way they their their entire life he was very much because he really believed that if you learn to do the little things perfectly, that's the secret to success, and I completely believe this as well. And so, he's, he, I always talk about, even when it comes to planning, without proper planning, it leads to a piss poor performance. So you really gotta plan. You really gotta focus on 
the little things. Even when it came down to, to X and O's on offense and defense, he spent a lot of time on blocking out, on setting picks, on squaring up to the basket, on moving, on, on fast breaks where you should be. And he always would do this. He would always teach something, and then he would tell the players, okay, good job, now do it faster. Oh, good job, I do it faster. Many of his players would say they were they were more tired at practice than they were in the games because they worked so hard in those two hours every day of practice. So he really spent a lot of time. Okay, you did great, now do it faster, 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 faster. And he spent a lot of time on this in practice with X and O's and, and with just, because he, he believed more than anything else in his life he believed, like I said before, that if you perfect doing the little things, that's the secret sauce. That's the, like In-N-Out Burger, the secret sauce. That's the secret sauce to success in basketball, in life, and anything you do. So start thinking about, in your life, are you doing the little things when it comes to basketball? Are you doing the little things when it comes to business? Are you preparing? Do you have a things to do list? Are you really focused on making sure the little things are big things? Even how do you put your socks on? How do you lace up your shoes? I used to always tell my players when they laced up their shoes before we start practice, double knot your shoes. Because I hated in practice, they didn't double knot it, the shoes came unlaced, then we had to stop for 30 seconds to a minute to have the player relace his shoes, tie them up, and it just took a minute or two away from practice. So focus on the littlest thing. Make sure your kids are double knotting their shoes before you start to practice. Make sure the shoes are laced correctly. So anyways, I wanted to talk to you about that on this beautiful beach in Allegria, and uh, John Wooden, my hero, greatest coach of all time, and I just want to leave you with one of my favorite verses in life, Romans 8, 28. For all things work together for good to those that are called according to his purpose. For all things work together for good for those that are called according to his purpose. So remember, when things aren't going well in your life, God's got a reason for it. He's got a reason, and it will work out for good no matter what. So focus on that verse. That's the theme verse for life. And focus on Romans 8, 28. We love you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and commenting. It all goes to, to expand this channel so we can touch more kids' lives as we, as we begin this journey of, of sports ministry in the Philippines. So God bless you guys. Have a great evening. Looking forward to seeing you. We're coming back June 16th. Can't wait to see all you guys. And go Bearcats! Hey guys, Coach Corsi here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, and thanks for being a part of this vision for the future to impact our youth and the next generation. God bless you and go Bearcats.